Hi, this is Brian Brie Kid Reporter. In a second, I will be interviewing Rachel Flat, figure skater, at a U.S. house in downtown Vancouver, B.C., Canada. So, is this your first Olympics? Yep, uh-huh. very first. It's very exciting, though. <laughs> is this what you expected here at Vancouver? <laughs> Not at all. I mean, I was expecting, um, you know, a lot, but this is just. It surpassed all of my expectations at this point. Um, it's incredibly exciting, uh, but I'm I'm certainly looking forward to the competition. <laughs> so, how does it feel to compete in the Olympics? I mean, does this seem real yet? <laughs> Not quite, honestly. It's still a little surreal at this point. Um, but as I'm practicing more here, uh, you know, it's it's soaking in a little bit. <laughs> um, but it's incredibly exciting. I'm just having the time of my life. And um, just, I hope to compete well. What has been your most exciting moment since you arrived in Vancouver? I would have to say the opening ceremonies. Those were incredible. Um, everyone was ecstatic, and you know, we had a bunch of the USA chants oh, yeah. going. So that was really cool. Um, and the sense of camaraderie that we had going was incredible. So I, I had a great time, and I know everyone else was just, just as excited as I was. So. I'll bet so. <laughs> and so what does your family think of all this? I know they're incredibly excited. They're having a great time. Um, I know they're trying to soak it in just as much as I am. Um, but there's so much to do. You know, we all want to see all the events, but in reality, we can't really do that. But um, you know, they're going out and exploring, uh, and I think they're going to go up to Whistler one of these days and see some of the events. But um, I know they're having a great time. <laughs> And so, how do you, this must be a lot of stress, how do you deal with it? What drives you? I'm having a great time and kind of uh, not worrying about the stress or the pressure or anything. Um, I'm just trying to enjoy myself and, you know, skate two great performances. Good. And do you have any rituals you do for good luck before you compete? Not really. Um, I don't really have any superstitions. I mean, I, I have some habits, but, uh, you know, it's more just to prepare myself, either physically or mentally, um, just that I'm prepared to go out and skate. Um, but other than that, nothing, really. <laughs> and what is it like training with Dorothy Hamill, right? Um, what is the best advice she has given you as a figure skater or even a person? Um, well, Dorothy's my mentor, and she's absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, but one of the best things she told me earlier this year was to uh, work hard, uh, you know, incredibly hard, work as hard as you can going into the Olympics so that, uh, and nationals, so that when you're going into the Olympics, you can just feel comfortable and relaxed and just, you know, save all the fun times for later, <laughs> you know, but... Um, when you win and you can celebrate. <laughs> exactly. Um, but she's just told me to be patient and just breathe and be calm and just trust my training. So, and What p- part of the program are you most looking forward to? Probably the end. <laughs> uh, and when I'm in my uh, ending pose and just knowing that I've done my best. And what do you think is the coolest thing about figure skating? I think the best thing about skating is probably that it's a combination between art and athleticism. So uh, I think that's a key to doing well in the sport now. Um, But it's, you know, it's so much fun. I mean, all the jumping, the spinning, um, all the choreography um, and the incredible step sequences now. Um, So I think it's it's a culmination between all those elements to get an incredible performance. And are you into any other sports? <laughs> um, well, I actually grew up skiing uh, Whistler and Blackcomb. So I'm, yeah, I love to ski, but I haven't gone in a few years. So I just don't want to tear up my knees or anything. And I think my coach appreciates that too. <laughs> but um, um, I love to go surfing when I'm back in California. And I love tennis. So I have, I have several different interests uh, in other sports. But, you know, skating is the one that takes the priority. <laughs> skating or surfing or skiing what are your other hobbies so what do you like to do when not well I'm in four AP classes this year and this is my senior year in high school so I'm pretty involved in those classes and the homework levels uh, for those classes as well but um, I do love to hang out um, with my puppies I have two old English sheepdogs named Ethel and Fred like the I Love Lucy show (laughs) so they're really cute but they're about 100 pounds each so they're actually pretty big (laughs) but um, I love hanging out with them and my parents and going to see a movie with friends or something so just being a normal kid (laughs) And were you into sports as a child, or did that come later? I think I've always been into sports. I knew, I know my parents uh, said, 
that I had a ton of energy, so they threw me into lots of different sports to kind of burn me out by the end of the day. But, um, yeah, you know, I've always been into sports. I've always been athletic and just enjoyed it. Yeah, what, what was your first sport? Um, gosh, it was... I don't, I don't really know, actually. I think I tried a lot of different things. I did ballet, gymnastics, skating. I did tennis. I swam. It was just, you know, it, everything was juggled at that point. But um, I was just kind of into everything, except for basketball and volleyball, because I'm, I'm obviously not tall enough. <laughs> so after you retire from the Olympics, what do you want to do in life? Um, well, I certainly want to get a college education. I just recently was accepted to Stanford University, so that was incredibly exciting. But um, I think I'd like to get a degree in chemical engineering, something along those lines. Um, but I'm also very interested in biomechanics. So we'll, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is Brandon Brie, Kid Reporter. And that was Rachel Flat, figure skater, at the U.S. House in the middle of downtown Vancouver, B.C., Canada. I'll see you next time.